let's start with validating the installation of your Google Tag Manager. Go to Conversios and go to Pixel Settings. Now enter your own GTM Container ID here. If you want to know how to import Conversios GTM Container, click on the link. Now go to your Google Tag Manager and click on Tags. Here you will find the list of tags you have already created. Here you can see a total of 70 tags are available. On the top right, you will have an option of Preview, click on it and then click on Reopen. Now your tag is connected to your website and select Continue. Move your mouse over the Begin Data Layer, you will find the option of Data Layer, just click on it. The data of integration you have done for that tag will display. For example, you have integrated GA3 and GA4 using the Conversios. So, in Data Layer Values Google Tag Manager will show you the GA3 property ID and GA4 property ID. Make sure it shows all the integrations you have done with the website. Now we move to View Item where you will find the impression on the products on your website. Once you click Data Layer and scroll down, you will see the list of data that's getting pushed to Analytics and other platforms. Since product impressions are only pushed to GA3 and GA4, we have these tags fired here. Now let's see how to validate other triggers. For example, if I click on a product then the View Item tag will be triggered. It will push the data to all the integration you have done such as Snapchat, FB, Pinterest, Microsoft, GA3, GA4, and TikTok. If you haven't integrated your Snapchat, this tag will not fire. To give you more clarity, let's check for Add to Cart. It will trigger the Add to Cart button and push the data to various platforms. You can validate your tags for every event such as proceed to checkout, place an order, or any actionable button.